Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, hello, Calvary. My name is Sean Sager. I'm the youth pastor here at Calvary, and I have the honor of bringing you today's word for the day. Have you ever questioned God? Have you ever wondered what the heck he's doing up there? I mean, Lord knows I believe in his death, his burial, his resurrection, but there are days where I'm just not sure what his entire plan is. Things will be going crazy in life, in the world, in politics, in anything, and it's just easy to wonder how in the world is God in control. Today's chapter is Psalm 104, and it is such a beautiful reminder of God and his sovereignty and of his power. Something that is so needed, especially when we are in a mode of questioning. All of Psalm 104 points out the power, knowledge, care, and sovereignty of the Lord our God. And this reminds me of Job 38, where after complaining about the life and about questioning God and and for what seems like good reasons, God then confronts Job and calls him to the carpet. In Job 38 through 40, God asks him all the things that are brought up in Psalm 104. Where were you, Job, when we did this, when I did that? And we are confronted by God's sovereignty all the same. If you think about it in its full weight, when you think about how powerful and how in charge God is, we have only our insignificance to think about. It really brings us to the end of ourselves. And then God brings us one step further. As we ponder on how big God is and how small we are, we are then brought to the fact that God still cares for us. As much as God is powerful and masterful, he is caring and more than sufficient for his creation. So here's where the thought process that God's power brings us. It's where it brings the psalmist, and it's where the psalmist wants us to go as well. After looking at all the wondrous feats of the Lord, Psalm 104, 33 through 34 says this, I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God to my last breath. May all my thoughts be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. There is nothing we can do to ever stand up against or really have the ability to question the Lord our God or the work he's doing in this world and our lives. So instead, we should work to submit to him. We also could never repay the kindness and care a great and powerful God has shown us. So instead, we meditate on his power and goodness day and night. When we are questioning God, when this world is causing us to question God, then we need to have our thoughts connecting God's amazing and awesome power with his amazing and sufficient ability to care for all that he has created. We are confronted by how crazy powerful our God is, and it leaves us with an immense and overwhelming feeling of awe and satisfaction that he also cares for us too. So here's what we're charged with in times of questioning. Allow your question to lead you to learn about God. Think often about God and the truth about Him and His Word. Think often about His goodness. Think often about His power. Think often about those two things and how so intimately connected they are. Do this as you're reading Psalm 104, and it will keep you humble. It will keep you in reverence and awe of God. This thinking, most importantly, will keep you close to God when life seems crazy. So take time today and read through Psalm 104. And if you get more time, then read Job 38 through 40 as well. I know it will confront you in times of questioning, times when things are crazy, times when you aren't sure if he's really in control or not. It serves as a reminder that he is in charge, that he is all powerful, and he is more than enough for his entire creation, including you. I know Psalm 104 will bless you with humility and thinking that pleases the Lord. May it bless you and keep you close to him. I love you a lot, Calvary. Have a great day.